Hey friends, welcome back to Law Creations. Hope everybody is doing well. I hope everybody's uh, having a great week. Uh, today's Wednesday, hump day, and and I'm ready for the weekend. But um, I just wanted to take some time out and share with you my newest display. This is a 5x7 shadow box display. It's uh it's a bit smaller than what I'm usually working on, but if you if you saw my last few videos, you see that I've been enjoying working on uh, smaller displays, and uh, just it just goes along with saying uh, create for yourself, create what you feel like creating, and uh, that's why I don't do commissions because I really don't care about the money that can be had in diorama in diorama making. But I care about creating what I enjoy creating. And, and this scene is a perfect example. It's, it's a little out of the ordinary, but it's something that where my imagination uh, took me. And it's something that I really was inspired to create. So you can always tell uh, in somebody's work when they're uh, really vested into their... Uh, when they're really building for them and, and it's something that that they enjoy doing and I hope this particular piece shows uh you know the time and effort that I put into this and you know and the per se blood sweat and tears uh because these small displays let me tell you they take a lot of time they're not that easy to try to capture the realism I try to keep everything in scale uh, I probably made the scroll a little bit too large for this particular scene, but that's okay. A little exaggeration looks good, but I think everything else kind of falls into scale. Uh, it made the uh, skeleton is a Boss Fight Studios 118th scale skeleton, so this could be along the lines of 118th scale, maybe a little bit smaller. So uh, let's go over how I created this. So the picture frame is pretty much the only thing that's original. I created the box out of central board. And I, I created it just, you know, so I could encase everything. And that's just the look of, uh, you know, the guts in the back and all that. So there's the window. And let's get back to the, the pretty pop, the nice pop. So let's go over it. So I took my hot wire cutter. I took a piece of one inch foam and I cut a whole bunch of, uh, it was about a quarter inch thick pieces of foam. I didn't want to use dollar store. I wanted, wanted it to be a little bit thicker than dollar store style foam. So that's why I, I custom cut my own. And the floor, the ceiling, and the back wall and the two sides are all about a quarter inch pink insulation foam encased into the central board and then I took some I made some uh which I really enjoyed uh some texture paste some DIY texture paste and it included some baking soda uh some glue and some acrylic paint and that's what I created uh these this stonework out of was the texture paste you can keep adding certain materials to get it the thickness you wanted. And once I got the thickness I wanted, I went ahead and created the stonework. I didn't do the same for the sides. The sides are um, egg carton material because it gives you that texture. And uh, if I had to do it again, I would have went ahead with the texture paste. But it blends in nicely. It's okay. And let's see. Like I say, the skeleton is a 118 scale skeleton from boss fight studios that i had hanging around really doing nothing so i went ahead went ahead and uh, dismantled them and then kind of laid them in a in a way that kind of looked organic and authentic to this particular scene and gave them some weathering and i took some paper towel with some water and glue and tried to create some clothing some remnants of clothing on him and I should probably go ahead and, uh, you know, give that a couple washes so it, it stands out from the uh, the skeleton. So I'll give it a little contrast. And the window I cut out and I put in place and, and put some red 
filament in the back and you can have a light shining through that shines through uh, into the scene and it gives a nice atmosphere and environment and this piece of wood here I just pretty much uh, I pretty much put that in place to hide those particular lights because I didn't want those lights to be seen but I did want the atmosphere that they provide so I went ahead and hid those uh, the chain is just some costume jewelry um, the the ball and chain is the same thing and I did some hooks some more hooks and just super glued everything in place so nothing really moves around so and I did texture paste on the flooring as well and that, that came out pretty good this particular peel I made out of balsa wood and actually now that I'm looking at it I've got to paint this handle which I didn't do so it kind of sticks out in the scene actually so I have to weather, uh, paint it and weather it so it kind of, it blends in with the rest. It looks way too clean. And that's just a zip tie. And I did the same thing with uh, some paper towel, glue, and water there and on the floor here. The torch is made out of, uh, obviously, super glue, LED, flickering, orange light. And that particular torch was made from a super glue tip. So the dollar store has these super glues here and I used this piece here as the torch, which I think it, it really came out good. It is kind of a tight, I'm sorry, it is kind of a tight fit in regards to the, the styrene and drilling the hole and everything, but it, it came out really great. This is, this is the end you screw onto the glue and this is, this is the part where the glue comes out. So it, it made a really cool looking, uh, cool looking torch without really any effort so so i painted that up and gave it some weathering and the skulls are a uh are a cast from some originals of uh go native toys uh michael norman who is a who is a great uh an excellent sculptor and so yeah but uh just to go to show you guys uh you know we all make mistakes and this like I say, this display was difficult to make. It take took me it took me a couple weeks. I guess because I work slow and I'm very I'm very tedious and I'm very picky about I, I just want things to look realistic and I, I really want to I really want to portray what I'm seeing in my imagination. So it, it kind of takes me a little bit of time. But um when I was working I took my, my box and I installed the torch and I installed the window but when I had everything installed and glued in place I realized I had the box upside down so this flooring was supposed to be the ceiling and I had already made the flooring for the uh, for the display I, I don't know if you guys can see it but I, I had some nice rubble around the around the bottom of the woodwork I had some nice texture going on some sand and I had some more rubble over there and I was like oh you gotta be kidding me and it was too late to change anything so I had to leave it as is and I had to make the ceiling the floor so it does help to pay attention to what you're doing and sometimes I just get so caught up in what I'm doing that I I miss those obvious things so but you try to make the best of it you try to make it work and and in, in this case it worked out okay but I've done things before where I actually have to start over so but yeah um, this is a foam board and then I cut some small pieces of I cut some small pieces of balsa wood and I I gave it some engraving and glued everything onto the foam board and I did that for both both sides. I can probably add a little bit of a lighter color wood to give it some contrast. But that's just where my mind takes me. I, I posted this on my Facebook and my mom sees my Facebook and she's she's like, what the heck are you creating? I said, eh, sorry, mom. That's just where my imagination goes. She goes, I think it's wonderful, but the subject matter. She's like, oh my, but it, this is what I enjoy. So I create what I enjoy and uh i don't worry about i don't worry about other people's opinions and 
in comments and I just do it because I love it and uh, yeah so let's kill the lights and let's check out the uh, let's check out the atmosphere in the particular piece with uh, no lights on so let me let me kill the lights to give you guys a better idea so by adding those flickering lights in the ceiling I get a good uh, I get a good atmosphere without really seeing the uh the lights so it kind of gives the impression everything's coming from you know that particular torch but even though i have those there but when i when this shadow box is displayed it'll it's displayed with uh you can't see the lights on the ceiling so yeah I appreciate you guys. I appreciate my subscribers. I uh, please comment, please like, uh, please subscribe, and um, you know, be part of this community. I don't get a lot of views on my videos, uh, especially for the amount of subscribers I have. I definitely don't. I, I think the percentage is very, very low. I have. A, you think I get more views with the subscribers? But I guess my channel overall isn't you know considered a healthy channel but uh, that that doesn't matter to me i'm not too concerned about about the numbers i'm more concerned about the interaction with those of you who, who enjoy my work and you know are inspired and encouraged all right guys uh take care and enjoy the rest of your uh your week take care